program really, the, the genesis of the program really started about four or five years ago when people were starting to look at Job Z as being a program that was going to be concluding in 2015. And the local economic developers, uh, legislators, and the administration were concerned about developing something that might be a replacement for Job Z. At that point, four or five years ago, some legislation was introduced. It didn't get anywhere, but it does, did signal to everybody that there was interest. And uh, so we went back to the drawing board, talked to lots of local economic developers, talked to legislators, and even talked to the administration quite a bit and really get a sense of what everybody wanted and to see in a, a replacement for Job Z. And what we came from that is a, a program that was strategic, very modest, as, as Minnesota's programs always are, uh, transparent and accountable, really trying to take lessons learned from other programs and we created the Job Creation Fund program, a program that really looks at businesses, helps grow with them, develops performance-based rewards based on their capital investment and all of their employment that they would be uh, adding in the future years. The Job Creation Fund assists businesses such as manufacturing, service, distribution, warehouse, and others to access funds the businesses that we've seen come into the program are actually businesses that we've helped all across the state. They can be smaller businesses that may receive a smaller award, maybe around $100,000, all the way up to businesses that are maybe multi-billion dollar international companies that may receive close to $2 million in an award. There are different eligibility criteria that are part of the program. Those include job creation, capital investment, and also some other things such as local government support and whether or not the business could do the same type of activities outside of Minnesota or locate elsewhere. Park Industries is a manufacturing company located in St. Cloud, Minnesota. We have 250 people working at the company. We've got two facilities and our primary product is stone working equipment. We build and manufacture equipment for the stone industry. As we evaluated our business growth plans, it was clear that we needed to expand our capacity and our facilities. So we started exploring what our options were. When we developed a plan and got approval internal to our management team, we started exploring financing options to be able to support an expansion. One of the options we explored was city and state funding programs that could assist us in the financing of this project. Um, doing a project like this on our own would be very difficult to do unless we had support of the community and, and the state. So we explored deed solutions and um, through evaluation and recommendations of the folks at the deed program, we decided to pursue the job creation program. We were very happy to work with the deed staff. They were very friendly and helpful along the way all the way from helping us fill out the applications to attending our city council meetings to help us get support for this project. They're a very good group of people to work with. We received $24 million from the legislature to run this program and to date in just under a year we have assisted 26 businesses and allocated about $13.3 million of those dollars to those businesses and we're certainly looking for more businesses to come into the program.